Rise and shine. 6 a.m. and your hand can't make it to the alarm clock before the voices in your head start telling you that it's too early, too dark, and too cold to get out of bed. Aching muscles lie still in rebellion, pretending not to hear your brain commanding them to move. A legion of voices are shouting their unanimous permission for you to hit the snooze button and go back to dreamland. But you didn't ask their opinion. The voice you've chosen to listen to is one of defiance. A voice that says there was a reason you set that alarm in the first place. So sit up, put your feet on the floor, and don't look back because we've got work to do. Welcome to the grind. For what is each day but a series of conflicts between the right way and the easy way? 10,000 streams fan out like a river delta before you, each one promising the path of least resistance. Thing is, you're headed upstream. And when you make that choice, when you decide to turn your back on what's comfortable and safe and what some would call common sense, well, that's day one. From there, it only gets tougher. So just make sure this is something you want, because the easy way out will always be there, ready to wash you away. All you have to do is pick up your feet. But you aren't going to, are you? With each step comes the decision to take another. You're on your way now, but this is no time to dwell on how far you've come. You're in a fight against an opponent you can't see, but oh, you can feel him on your heels, can't you? Feel him breathing down your neck. You know what that is? That's you. Your fears, your doubts, and insecurities all lined up like a firing squad, ready to shoot you out of the sky. But don't lose heart. While they're not easily defeated, they are far from invincible. Remember, this is the grind, the battle royale between you and your mind, your body and the devil on your shoulders telling you that this is just a game, this is just a waste of time, your opponents are stronger than you. Drown out the voice of uncertainty with the sound of your own heartbeat, burn away your self-doubt with a fire lit beneath you, remember what we're fighting for and never forget that momentum is a cruel mistress, she can turn out a dime or the smallest mistake. She is ever searching for the weak place in your armor, that one tiny thing you forgot to prepare for. So as long as the devil is hiding the details, the question remains, is that all you got? Are you sure? And when the answer is yes, when you've done all you can to prepare yourself for battle, then it's time to go forth and boldly face your enemy, the enemy within. Only now you must take that fight into the open, into hostile territory. You're a lion in a field of lions, all hunting the same elusive prey with a desperate starvation that says victory is the only thing that can keep you alive. So believe that voice that says you can run a little faster and you can throw a little harder and that for you, the laws of physics are merely a suggestion. Luck is the last dying wish of those who want to believe that winning can happen by accident. Sweat, on the other hand, is for those who know it's a choice. So decide now, because destiny waits for no man. And when your time comes and a thousand different voices are trying to tell you you're not ready for it, listen instead to that lone voice of dissent. The one that says you are ready, you are prepared, it's all up to you now. So rise and shine. There is nothing as powerful as a changed mind. You can change your hair, your clothing, your address, your spouse, your residence, but if you don't change your mind, the same experience will perpetuate itself over and over again because everything outwardly changed, but nothing inwardly changed. want something out of life, if you want to change yourself, if you want to acquire something, if there's some goal that you want to reach, changing your behaviors, overcoming negative habits, it's challenging. It's hard. Most people go through life never discovering what their talents are. Most people never develop their talents. The only thing that's going to make you happy, my friend, and this year or any other, is to step up. It's to raise the standard, it's to discover what you're capable of and feel that incredible power of pushing through whatever's holding you back and get to the other side of more of your true self. That's what this game's all about. 
When you step into your fears and continue to push yourself to go on, something happens for you. If you look at somebody who's really successful and you think, wow, I mean, they're, they're so amazing, they're such a genius, you gotta dig underneath and you gotta remember something. People are rewarded in public for what they've practiced for years in private. If you don't develop the courage to do that which has been given you to do, and you spend a lot of time going around trying to convince other people or trying to get their approval, what will happen is that you will lose your nerve and other people will convince you that what you're doing doesn't have any value and you'll give up on your dream. How much time do you have left? How much time do you have left? When you start thinking about that, we don't know. Most of us don't use the stuff that we have brought into the universe. Stop wasting valuable time. If you want something, you have got to be relentless. You've got to learn how to become resourceful. You've got to learn how to become creative. The power to hold on in spite of everything, the power to endure, this is the winner's quality. The hunger, the ability to face defeat again and again without giving up. This is a winner's quality. What this power is, I cannot say. All I know is that it exists and it becomes available only when a man or a woman is in that state of mind in which he or she knows exactly what he or she wants and is fully determined not to quit until they find it. There's greatness in you and you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. I'm going to harness my will and I'm not going to let anything stop me. I deserve this. Most people give up on themselves easily. You know the human spirit is powerful? There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. You are unstoppable. Live your life with passion. With some drive. Most of us go through life with our brakes on. Holding back. Decide that you're going to push yourself. You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself, every day, every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Selling yourself on your ability to perform a job, to achieve a certain objective. Telling yourself every day, here I go again. And I got what it takes. This is my day and nothing out here is going to stop me. this club this altercation breaks out there's a bunch of people out there these fighting break out my limo is the only limo that's sitting in front of this club fighting everywhere 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 then gunshots ring 14 gunshots hit the side of my limo. we drove off we got back to the hotel message was on the news we are looking for a black limousine navigator in connection to a double homicide two men were brutally stabbed today wow I was definitely accused of double murder I was falsely accused of double murder actually and uh, they arrested me that morning in front of all three of my sons which is the hardest thing to ever do is to fight for your freedom in front of your family. And the first night I was in jail, a whisper came to my ear, and it said, can you hear me now? And that's the only time, the real time, 
that I heard God that clearly. I'm always disturbed in my spirit on how people look at me from that instance because those families that was affected will never know the truth. And that's sad. They still didn't find the people who done that. They never had an ounce of evidence of it. And that's when I knew, no matter where I was, no matter how low I had been in my life, by any means necessary, I will prove, not just to myself, to my family, to my children, to my fans, I gotta get something done. Because if y'all that bold to put my reputation on the line, then I'm as bold as you are to fight for it. tonight ain't taking you away from this moment man because that's all we got that's what y'all don't realize most of the times we don't get this again we don't get this again the clock runs too fast that's why we got to savor these moments because they right now i couldn't understand that when i was 24 and 25 that's why god had to incarcerate me so i could see how great my blessing was that he had for me so i had to come from a jail cell being in position to then step on a Super Bowl podium, man. I don't do this for me. I just, I watch enough film so I can put myself in position to make my defense the best defense in damn football. That's why I come back every year. I'm trying to tell y'all, God has never made a mistake. <coughs> He's never made one mistake, all right? So it ain't about one play, it ain't about nothing. This year, we did what we were supposed to do. We fought as a team. We fought as a team. There will be one Super Bowl champ crown at the end of this year. That's it. So the way we feel, somebody gonna feel like that tomorrow, and somebody gonna feel like that in a week. That's a fact. And the fact is, we gotta come back and go to work to make sure we finish it next time. That's all we gotta do. Joe, you played your ass off. You hear me, man? I'm telling you, man. Don't ever, don't ever drop your head when it comes to a loss, dog. Because there's too much pain outside of this that people really going through. This right here makes us strong. Let's understand who we are as a team. Let's understand who we are as men. And let's make somebody smile when we walk out of here. We got an opportunity to keep going, man. Let's be strong as a team, man. Let's be who we are. Ravens on three. One, two, three! Ravens! Let me tell you something. If tomorrow wasn't promised, what would you get for today? Forget everything else. Forget everything else. Forget that there was any sunlight left. What would you spend today thinking about? Yourself or the man that's beside you? Or the man that you know you'll give everything in your heart for? We get one opportunity in life. One chance in life to do whatever you're going to do, to lay your foundation, to make whatever mark you're going to make, whatever legacy you're going to leave, leave your legacy. And it's found through effort. Wins and losses come a dime a dozen. But effort, nobody can judge effort. Because effort is between you and you. Effort ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. So that team that think they're ready to see you, they think what they see on film, they ain't saw what film shows. Because every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature now than I was five minutes ago. Because I'm pissed off for greatness. Because if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you okay with being mediocre. There ain't no man in here okay with being just basic. So let's do what we do. Tonight, Sir. we ain't got to worry about taking no breaks. Don't worry about taking no breaks. You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. 
You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas, unquestionably. You've got to have faith, and that faith gives you patience. That is not going to happen as quickly as you want it to happen. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. I dare you not to go back to sleep. I dare you to get up, and I dare you to chase your dreams. It's possible you could win. Whatever comes to you, don't run from it. Don't try and duck it like most people do. Step toward it. You want to make your dream come true, you got to stay focused. Some people rather get even than get ahead. Stay focused on where you want to go. Where are you going with your life? You can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. You have to trust in something, your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever, because believing that the dots will connect down the road will give you the confidence to follow your heart even when it leads you off the well-worn path, and that will make all the difference. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. You've got to find what you love, and that is as true for work as it is for your lovers. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. But you're gonna have some ups and you're gonna have some downs. Most people give up on themselves easily. You know the human spirit is powerful? There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. Anybody can feel good when they have their health, their bills are paid, they have happy relationships. Anybody can be positive then. Anybody can have a larger vision then. Anybody can have faith under those kinds of circumstances. The real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. It takes courage to act. Part of being hungry when you've been defeated, it takes courage to start over again. Because if you're willing to do the work, you can have anything. That's what makes the U.S. of A great. When it started, America was just a handful of scrawny colonies. Now, it's the most buff, pumped up country on the planet. That's pretty rad. Most people say they want to look better. Not everyone's willing to do whatever it takes to achieve it. All of my heroes are self-made. Rocky, Scarface, all the guys from The Godfather, they all started out with nothing and built their way to perfection. The way to prove yourself is to better yourself. That's the American dream. I have no sympathy for people who squander their gifts. It's sickening. It's worse than sickening. It's unpatriotic. I spot people for a living when you get right down to it. Give the client security and they will let you help to push themselves hard. When I was young, there was a rich kid lived two blocks over. Little prick had a new bike every Christmas. Your are looking great. 
and his parents took him on vacations to places like Paris and France. I, mean, I didn't hate him. I just thought it'd be cool to see France. But I knew that wasn't ever going to happen unless I did something about it. Let's go, set. Ah! Hey, what's going on, DL? You've been unfocused all day, man. You ever just get tired of being where you are, Adrian? Yeah. I kind of like it here. I mean, the weights are new to I me. mean, in life, man. Where you are in life. I mean, look at us, man. Superman. Come on! Don't you think you deserve better? Because I do. I do too. Then fucking act like it, man. Come on. That's why when these roids kick into this chocolate mask, baby, I'm gonna be unstoppable. I ain't making no more tacos. I ain't cleaning up after nobody tacos. I'm putting my beef in their tacos, baby. Everybody gonna eat some of this. That's what I'm talking about. You walked in that door, you were 28% body fat. You wanted to be six. I gave you that. You want to be two? I will give you that. You deserve that. You want to be a monument to physical perfection? You want to be a shrine? You should be. You want to change, right? All you got is change in that fanny pack. Is that what you want? When's the last time you paid your rent when it was due? When's the last time you took one of those plump bitches out to dinner and didn't sweat them morning dessert? You love those big bitches. And they love to eat. It's okay. That's important. But this being broke shit, it's got to stop, man. We need some money to go with that body, man. Daniel just wanted to be like everyone. Everyone that wants the American dream. All I ever wanted out of life was what everyone else had. Not more. Just not the less I was used to. Well, I took a real swing for it, you know? And for a while, it was like I always thought it would be. I was one of you. And it felt good. People finally saw me like I saw myself, and you can't ask for more than that. Maybe I did, though. Maybe it got so I didn't want to be equal to anymore. I wanted to be better then. And that's a recipe for injury. That doesn't mean you give up, though. You rest, you heal, and you get back on that bench. Life is going to give me another set, and I'm going to rock it. Because my name is Daniel Lugo, and I believe in fitness. What does it mean to be an entrepreneur in a world of inaction, over-promising and under-delivering? Every second, man seems to claim himself an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is someone that would never call himself an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is someone that is happy to work while all others are out partying. An entrepreneur's drug is success. He is addicted to success. And finally, the entrepreneur knows one simple fact. I will make it, maybe not immediately, but absolutely and definitely. You have to hustle. You have to think outside of the box to make things happen when it seems impossibly difficult for anything to happen. To continue to get up off of the canvas when you are beaten down relentlessly. Win or learn. I never lose. I will succeed, not immediately, but absolutely and definitely. I will take action when others hesitate. I will think big when others don't. I will sacrifice when others won't. I will dare to dream of greatness when others fear it. I will outwork my competition day and night. I am the captain of my fate, the master of my soul, the boss of my dreams, the king of my goals. You have to be a leader to be unique, to be hungry always and never satisfied. Proud, but never satisfied. To be followed by the competition, to 
take criticism and negativity and use it to feel your greatness, to survive the storms and the tough moments, to be humble in the good times. It is sacrificing your today for a better tomorrow. It is living a few years of your life like others won't so that you can spend the rest of your life like others can. That sacrifice, the dedication, the commitment, the discipline, only rare human beings have these qualities. Only the very best among us. Then there's failure. Because we all know that it is coming, it is human nature. I mean, find me a successful human that has never failed. You can't, they don't exist. The only difference between the extremely successful among us in any field and the unknown, the only difference, the successful guy didn't give up. He found a way when there seemed to be no way. The other guy, he, Threw in the towel. Failure is simply learning another way not to do something. There are great lessons in failure. When it comes to success, there is rarely ever a time when luck comes into play. Hard work, however, always comes into play. There is no greater satisfaction in life than that of hard work paying off. No greater satisfaction than knowing you are self-made. Take action while all others are sitting on their hands. The great difference between the somebodies and the nobodies very often only comes down to who is willing to take action who is willing to put in the work, the grind. Are you willing? Some of you going to sleep and you don't deserve to be, you don't deserve rest. You lazy, you don't deserve rest. Rest is for people who work. You ain't doing nothing. Every day you chilling. You need to know your why, and my why wakes me up every single morning. You don't get it. Listen to me very closely. You can write everything down if you want to. Be brave enough to write every one of your goals down, but I'm gonna tell you something. Life's gonna hit you in your mouth and you gotta do me a huge favor. Your why has to be greater than that knocked out. At the end of your feelings is nothing. But at the end of every principle is a promise. Find a man who's diligent at what he does and he shall stand before kings and not mean men. Every day you say no to your dreams, you might be pushing your dreams back a whole six months. That one single day, that one day you didn't get up, could have pushed your stuff back I don't know how long. The first level to success in life, listen to me, the very first level, the very first level is you seeing it. Like it's clear to you. Like you know exactly what you want. You know exactly when you want it. Listen to me, you know exactly what it tastes like. You know what it looks like. You know what it smells like. Before you really blow up, blow up, and you get success, you literally have it in the palm of your hand without having it. I didn't come here to make friends. I don't even care if they respect me. I know who I am. I got enough respect for myself. I do not want them to beat me. They're never gonna beat you. They came close to that. And I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now because I care about you. I'm telling you right now because I've been there. I've done that. You've been in it for three years and you about to quit. You've been doing it for five years and it don't look like you think. You put all your money in it. You put all your time in it. People are looking at you crazy. Five years you've invested. Oh, you put too much in it to quit now. 
And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. But this is my time. This is my moment. Tomorrow, tomorrow, ain't no such thing as tomorrow. What does your dream look like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind.